all feeling today? Are we feeling happy? Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling happy. Give me a thumbs down if you're feeling sad. Lots of thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Very good. Good, good, good. That's what I like to see. Okay, so today we are continuing with lesson 12, but we're moving on to writing. Okay guys, so for homework last night, I gave you uh, three sentences and I wanted you to expand or rearrange them to make them more interesting. The first person I'd like to say congratulations to is Tui Chi. Well done Tui Chi, you did a really good job on your homework. So Tui Chi, I would like you to read out your sentences for the class, so listen carefully. The first one says, some people find headphones comfortable, but some people find headphones uncomfortable. This is a very boring sentence. We have repeated ourselves twice and it doesn't have much in it. Now, sometimes people find headphones comfortable, but some people don't like them. So, Twitchy has rearranged this sentence to make it flow better and without repeating herself. Good girl. The second sentence was, is your goal to be a singer or is your goal to be a musician? boring, it's not very interesting, it doesn't have any adjectives, but then Tui Chi comes along and writes a great sentence. Tui Chi, what did you write? Do you wish to be a wonderful singer or a great musician? Musician. Good girl. Do you wish to be a wonderful singer or a great musician? So again, she's added in some adjectives to make the sentence much more interesting. And finally, do you want to clap or do you want to tap your feet? Tweechy came along and changed this to now. Now, do you want to clap your hands or tap? your feet. So here she's added in a timestamp to show us when this is happening. So well done Tweet Chi, that's a really good job on your homework. Now guys, when I went through your homework, many of you just wrote the same sentence. So a lot of you just wrote, some people find headphones comfortable, but some people find headphones uncomfortable. I did not want you to rewrite the sentence, I wanted you to change the sentence. Now let's have a look. Let's do some of these together. I like to play the piano, but my sister doesn't like to. You know, I don't know which adjective to choose when it's that kind of sentence. Okay, well, let's have a go. Okay, Micah, you can help me do this first one. Because yesterday, you did a really good job of giving me great examples in class. So I'm sure that you can do it. So let's have a, let's have a look at this one together, Micah. I like to play the piano, but my sister doesn't like to. So this sentence is fine, it's okay, but it doesn't have any adjectives. It doesn't have any interesting qualities. So let's try and make it a more interesting sentence. Well, how could we change this sentence to be better, Micah? How could we make it sound more interesting? I love. Good, good girl. I love playing the grand piano. I love playing the piano in my house. I love playing the piano at school. Here we're adding more details to our sentence. It says, but my sister doesn't like to. How could we change this to be more interesting? Eight. Good girl. I love playing the piano, but my sister hates playing the piano. Or, I love playing the piano, but my sister hates it. Good girl, Micah. Let's have a look at the example sentence. Micah, can you read it for me? I love playing the piano, but my sister really hates it. Good girl. Well done, Micah. So perfect. You've just helped me construct a sentence that is much more interesting and has details and can keep the reader engaged. Good girl. Let's have a look at this one. Um, Le Kang, can you read it for me? We played... We played at a concert, and the concert was, was loud. Very good. Well done. We played at a concert, and the concert was loud. So a concert is a performance, or a show, or a recital. So a concert is where you go to watch someone, or 
people um, sing and dance and perform. So we played at a concert and the concert was loud. This sentence is fine, but it's, little, it's a little boring. How could we change this sentence to be more interesting? We play at a rock concert. Good job. We played at a rock concert and the concert was loud. What's another word for loud? Noisy. Noisy, good. We played at a rock concert and it was noisy. We don't have to repeat the concert two times. Well done, Sal. We could say we played at a rock concert and the it was noisy. Perfect work. Let's have a look at the example. Okay, um, Kiwi, can you read the example for me? So we play at a huge con con concert. Con concert and the crowd, crowd cheered so loud. Loudly. Loudly. Good girl. Lovely work, Kiwi. We played at a huge concert and the crowd cheered so loudly. So here, this sentence is telling us that there was a concert and it was loud. Very boring. When we read this, we can't imagine anything in our head. It doesn't paint a vivid picture. However, when we read this sentence and it says, we played at a huge concert, I'm imagining lots and lots and lots of people. Then it goes on to say, and the crowd cheered so loudly. Now I'm imagining lots of people cheering and screaming and having a really good time. So this sentence is much more interesting and keeps the reader engaged with painting, with painting a beautiful picture. Very good, Tweechi. Tweechi has just said, we play in the popular music concert and it was very noisy. Perfect, Tweechi. Really good sentence. Okay, let's do one more together. Do you like the violin or the guitar? So this sentence is fine. But again, we're not just fine writers. We are amazing writers. We are interesting writers. Let's make this sentence more interesting. How could we word this differently or add adjectives to make it more interesting? Tweechi, what do you think? Do you like the huge violin on the, on the bass guitar? Good girl, perfect. So here we've added some more adjectives to give more details about the instruments. Good girl, Tweechi. Let's have a look at this example. Hacker, can you read it for me? Do you prefer, prefer? The, prefer the sound of the violin or an electric guitar? Very good, well done. Do you prefer the sound of a violin or an electric guitar. So here we've used a different word. Instead of saying, do you like, we're saying, do you prefer? Prefer means which one do you like better? So do you prefer the sound of a violin or an electric guitar? Here, this sentence is more interesting and it gives more details. So these are things that we really need to focus on to become a really good writer. Okay, guys, let's move on, on to opinion writing. So today we're learning about opinion writing. Let's have a look over here. Opinion writing. Opinion means only I think that. My opinion tells what I like best, how I feel about something, and what I think about something. So your opinion is based on your beliefs. Not everyone is going to share the same opinion. Many of us will have different opinions. For example, what is the best tasting food in the world. Micah, what do you think? I think the best food in the world is ice cream. Mm. Why do you like ice cream, Micah? Because when we eat it, we feel cooler when it's a very hot day. Oh, that's a really good reason. Well done, Micah. So in summer, when it's very hot and we eat some ice cream, not only is it delicious, but it helps cool us down. Good girl. Okay, Quang Hai, what's the best food in the world? Uh, broccoli. Oh, why do you think broccoli, Quang Hai? Because 
plants and can give us if we eat other things like pizza and things can make our tummy bigger and can make our teeth hurt. Very if good. We, well done. It's broccoli and all the food we all the plants we can have nutrients and stronger and some smarter and run faster. Good job. Well done, Quang Hai. Also a really good reason. Broccoli is the best food in the world according to Quang Hai because it's good for you and it's healthy and it tastes delicious. Good job, Quang Hai. Mickey, what do you think? I think the um, the hot dog is the best food. Okay, good girl. Why do you think hot dogs are the best? Because the hot dog is yummy. Good girl. Hot dogs are very yummy, especially with lots of ketchup and mustard. Good girl, Mickey. Okay, Sal, what are you thinking? Mm, the pizza is the best food. Ooh, pizza. Pizza is delicious. Why do you think pizza is the best food, Sal? Okay guys, so this is our writer's checklist. What makes a great opinion paragraph? Well, a great opinion paragraph begins with an opinion that clearly states what the writer does or does not like. So, it begins with an opinion that clearly states what the writer does or does not like. For example, if we were writing an opinion paragraph on the best food in the world, we would state that with our opinion. For example, we could say, I think that pizza is the best food in the world. That is clearly stating my opinion. Then we go on to give strong reasons to explain why we feel this way. So maybe I would say, I think pizza is the best food because it's a really great food to share with many people. Then I could go on and say, also, I think pizza is a really delicious snack to have. Okay, so it's really important that we use linking words such as because and also to link our opinions to the reasons. Then at the end, we must have a sentence that repeats the opinion using different words. So for example, I would say, you should try some pizza. Maybe you will like it as much as I do. Here I'm repeating my opinion by saying that I like pizza, but I'm not saying the exact same sentence that I begun with. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, Kang, can you read this paragraph for me? Folk is my favorite. Folk is my favorite kind of music. I like it because it is fun to sing with other people. It also teach, teaches teaches about, argue about many different times in history and many different places. Some of the songs are sad and some are happy. I like the way guitars sound in folk music. Folk music sounds peaceful. peaceful. Give, peaceful. Give it a try, you might like folk music as such as I do. As much as I do. Good job, Kang. As well much. done. Lovely reading. Okay, so what do we think about this opinion paragraph? Do we think it is a good example or a bad example? Go to the chat box and tell me. You can just write good or bad. Okay, amazing. And I'm going to stop us there. Good. So most, if not everyone, everyone said good. Oh, Tweechee said, wonderful. Well done, Tweechee. Good job, Noob. Okay, guys. So, Kiwi, you said that you're not sure. That's okay. So, let's have a look at this example paragraph together. So, everyone said, good, wonderful, or great. This is a great paragraph. It's a really good opinion paragraph. Who can tell me why? Why is it a good opinion paragraph? So, for those of you who said good, why do you think it's a good opinion paragraph? Micah. I think it's a good paragraph because sometimes when we don't try it and suddenly when we try it, we think it's good. 
Ah, yes, because it's telling us to give it a try. At the end, it said, give it a try. You might like it as much as I do. Good girl. So you think it's good because it's convincing you to try and listen to folk music. Amazing work. Well done, Micah. Well, if we go back to this page, this tells us what makes a great opinion paragraph. It says that it begins with an opinion. It gives strong reasons, it uses linking words, and it has a good ending sentence that repeats the opinion. This paragraph has all of those things. At the beginning, it tells us the exact opinion. Folk is my favorite kind of music. That is a clear, strong sentence. It is clearly telling us that the writer thinks folk music is the best kind of music. Then the writer goes on to give us many reasons as to why they think folk music is the best. Now, I want you guys to have a read and I want you to count how many reasons did this writer give us to tell why they like folk music? How many reasons did they give us? One reason, two reasons, three, four, five, six, have a read and count. Okay, guys. So I have lots of different answers. I have lots of fours. I have a few sixes and I have one five. Let me tell you that the winner is Tweechy. Well done, Tweechy. Tweechy said that there are five reasons and she is correct. Let's have a look through them. Okay. The first reason is I like it because it is fun to sing with other people. There's one reason. It also teaches you about many different times in history and many different places. There's two. Some of the songs are sad and some are happy. There's three. I like the way guitars sound in folk music. There's four. Folk music sounds peaceful. There's five. Five reasons why this person thinks folk music is the best. This person has also written words like because and also to link together their opinion to the reasons. They've also given us a great ending sentence that says, give it a try. You might like folk music as much as I do. This sentence is engaging the reader. It's telling the reader to get involved and to have a go. Okay, let's have a look at this example paragraph. Leo. Okay, Leo, would you like to read your hand? It's gone up. Leo, can you read for me? Pop music is one of the best kind of music. There are all kinds of pop music can listen to. For example, some of it is happy and some of it is sad. Some of it is low and some of it is fast I like, I like other kind of music too i like pop music because you can sing along once you learn the world <clears throat> you can also dance to pop music my friends and i like to listen to pop music together Sing along and see how great pop music is. Amazing. Lovely reading, Leo. Good job. Okay, so here is our second opinion paragraph. This second opinion paragraph is all about pop music. So, who can tell me, has this writer clearly stated their opinion? Yes or no? Good job. Okay, so most people have written yes. Teddy, can you tell me where this person has stated their opinion? The writer states their opinion that they tell us that they like like other uh, like pop pop music. Good girl, well done. The writer has clearly stated their opinion here. Pop music is one of the best kinds of music. So they have started off really well. They have given us a clear opinion. Has this writer given us reasons to explain why they have that opinion? Has this writer given us reasons to explain why they have that opinion? Go to the chat box and write yes or no. Amazing. Great. We've all said yes. 
the writer has given us reasons to explain. Okay, they said there are all kinds of pop music you can listen to. For example, some of it is happy and some of it is sad. Some of it is slow and some of it is fast. I like pop music because you can sing along once you learn the words. You can also dance to pop music. My friends and I like to listen to pop music together. So this writer has given us many reasons. Some of the reasons are because there are different kinds of pop music. Um, you can sing along to pop music. You can dance to pop music. And it's fun to listen to pop music with your friends. So this writer has given us lots of reasons to back up their opinion. Has the writer given us a closing sentence that retells the opinion? Go to the chat box and type yes or no. Amazing. Well done, guys. So everyone is saying yes. Yes, they have. Have a look here. Sing along and see how great pop music is. So this sentence is saying, get involved. Why don't you try singing along and maybe you will see how great pop music is. So here is their opinion one more time. They're telling us that pop music is great. So all in all, this example paragraph is a great opinion paragraph. They clearly state their opinion. They give us all the reasons and they have an ending sentence. Now, there is, there is a sentence here that has been taken out. I like other kinds of music too. Why do you think we have taken out this sentence? Does the sentence, I like other kinds of music too, give us a reason to explain why this person likes pop music? Hannah and Emma. No. No, it doesn't. Good job. That's why we have gotten rid of it. Okay? I only want you to tell me reasons that explain your opinion. I like other kinds of music too does not explain why you like pop music. Therefore, it is irrelevant. So we can get rid of it. Good job. Have a look here. Um, I would like Assi. I haven't heard from you today, Assi. Can you read this for me? Writers show. Writer. Writer show how strongly they feel about their opinions, opinions by writing reasons that support them. Uses linking words. Using words, linking words. Using linking words. Switch as because. As because. And and also. Co connect. Co connect the opinions to the writers. Very good. Well done to the reasons. Good girl. Have a look at this sentence. I like to play the guitar. Boring and a terrible sentence. It doesn't tell us why I like to play the guitar. That gives us no details. If we're trying to tell someone our opinion, we must give reasons to support our opinion. Now have a look at this sentence. Cindy, can you read this sentence for me? Playing the guitar. Playing the guitar is better than eating dessert. Dessert? Because dessert because it is so exciting. Good girl. So this set person says playing the guitar is better than eating dessert because it is so exciting. Now click the raise your hand button if you like to eat dessert. Dessert is something that we have after dinner. Usually it is cake or ice cream or chocolate or something sweet and sugary. Who likes to eat dessert after dinner? Yes, many hands are going up. My hand is up too. I love to eat dessert after dinner. I love eating ice cream. So this person is saying that playing the guitar is better than eating dessert because it's so exciting. So this is a really strong sentence. This person is able to explain their opinion and why they have it. They tell us because it's exciting and they even give us an image to imagine. So now we realize that this person must really like playing the guitar because they like it even better than eating dessert. I like to play the drums. Oh, boring. This sentence doesn't give us any reasons. Why? Why do you like to play the drums? I want to know a reason. Have a look at this. Quang Hai, can you read it for me? 
I have the most fun when I play the drum. Very good. Okay, this is a better sentence, but still, I don't have a reason. It's an expanded sentence that says, I have the most fun when I play the drums. So it's a bit more interesting than saying, I like to play the drums, but I want a reason. Why do you like playing the drums? What makes it so much fun? Let's have a look at this sentence. Suri, can you read this sentence for me? I have the most fun when I play the drums. Because? Because I feel like I'm in a rock band. Good girl, well done. Now this sentence is amazing. I have the most fun when I play the drums because I feel like I'm in a rock band. This sentence is engaging for the reader. It tells the opinion in an interesting way, and it also gives a reason, and the reason is very vivid. We can imagine someone playing the drums in a rock band. This makes us understand why this person has so much fun. Being in a rock band would be very fun. Okay, guys, what do you like to do and why? What are some things that you like to do? Do you like to skate? Do you like to play the flute? Do you like to play the guitar? Do you like to paint? Do you like to play football? Do you like to cook? What are some things that you enjoy doing? Micah, what do you like to do? I like painting and singing. Good girl. Why do you like doing those things? Because when I do the arts, when I paint the art, I want, I want to paint it and I sell it. Oh, very good. So you can make money from it. Good girl, Micah. Very interesting. Okay. Um, what about you, Lekang? Lekang, what do you like to do? I like to read a book. Okay, good girl. Why do you like reading books? Because in a book have information. Some books... Some book is funny. Very good. Well done. Sometimes books can make you laugh. Sometimes books give us information. Good girl. Okay, let's go for um, Lam. Lam, what do you like to do? Nothing. You don't like to do anything? You don't like playing video games? You don't like skating? You don't like playing football? You don't like playing chess? You don't like to do anything? I don't like to... To play video games. You like to play video games? Lom? Yes. You like to play video games? Yes. I okay. Like Good. Why do you like playing video games? Because, because it's fun. Because it's fun. Good job. Well done. Okay, one more. Let's go for um Quang Hai. What do you like to do and why? Um, I like to play video games. You like to play video and games cooking. too? And cooking. Okay, Quang Hai, why do you like to cook? Cooking is fun and it can teach I am when I am a good cooking and I can make a lot of money. Very and good. Cooking, and cooking yummy foods, we can make a lot of money. Yeah, very good, Quang Hai. Cooking is fun. Maybe you think cooking is fun because it teaches you lots of skills and then maybe you could be a chef one day. Okay, guys, what I would like you to do for homework is this. Have a look. I want you, oops, I want you to plan your opinion paragraph. So we are writing an opinion paragraph this week. Now for homework tonight, I just want you to plan to do that. So this is what we're going to complete. Have a look over here. Write a paragraph that gives your opinion about something you like. So I want you to pick something that you like. It could be something that you like to do. For example, I love cooking. Here you would write your opinion. I think cooking is the best way to spend my time. Reason number one, cooking is fun because I get to spend time with my mom and dad. Reason two, I also love cooking because I get to eat yummy food. Okay, then give me a third reason. So guys, I want you to pick something that you're going to write a paragraph on and then I want you to plan it. 
You tell me here, what is the topic? Is it cooking? Is it skating? Is it playing chess? Is it playing video games? Then state your opinion and give me one, two, three reasons why you like to do that. That is the end of our class. I'm going to say goodbye to you all. Goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow.